Hey guys, today's on Schizophrenia and Thoughts of Graduation. Schizophrenia and Thoughts about Graduation, but before we get to this, please allow my brief prelude. As you know, I've conveniently recorded it for our mutual comfort, our mutual convenience, and our mutual luxury. And hey, listen, I'm no spring chicken, and I've been around a few preludes in my years. I'm telling you, this kid, this prelude, has got something that's particularly luxurious, kind of like, uh, kind of like movie theater popcorn. This is Hello, different. Driver. My name is Robert Francis. You've stumbled on my unconquering schizophrenia YouTube channel, where me and the bird. bird. Just right, a book, just right. a book. You'll we'll switch region play. This is the cut of my book right two, the quiet and distinguished book of the three. I'm a licensed clinical social worker times 15 years. That's a lot of gabbing and chatting. I've been diagnosed with schizophrenia for a score five and one. And that puts a little gray fleck in my beard. Advancing down the gym. Thank you for joining me on my channel. Now to, to topic, topic, to topic, topic to, to topic. topic. You know... I don't want to sound too cynical, but here goes. So I was at uh, my niece's graduation the other day. And, uh, you know, a graduation is uh, a happy time for sure. And uh, there's a bunch of speeches about inspiration and a bright future and optimism and achieving goals and having a great life and friends and family. It's all very positive. As I sat in the audience, all I could think was these poor individuals don't know what they're getting into <laughs> life is awful <laughs> that was right that you know amid all the optis optimism i'm thinking do they not know that life is just one gigantic struggle one gigantic uh, problem one gigantic uh, monumental struggle through life that's what i was thinking so uh, of course schizophrenia can be included in there and 1% of the 300 people in there, so three or four people will have schizophrenia in the graduating class. So that's something to look forward to. But anyway, I, I'm try not trying to be cynical, but life is difficult. And uh, it's so idyllic when you're younger like that. And uh, maybe it's okay to keep the idyllity, but it gets me to... Uh, to wonder about life, you know, in general. Is life full or is it empty? I'm very paradoxical. Is it fun or is it, a, is it a struggle? Is it great? Sometimes it seems great. Sometimes it's awful. You know, and lastly, is it meaningful? Very meaningful or meaningless? Is it entirely empty? I think it's entirely empty sometimes. I'll tell you what it boils down to for me. Beyond my relationship with the divine and a few, few close relationships and respecting people in general, um, the rest is just... Uh, you know, a, a daily routine of uh, of uh, meaningless stuff, more or less, beyond those things I just mentioned. But that's just me, and I don't want to be c cynical. Perhaps it's better to be ideal. Maybe some of that will rub off on me, and I'll feel better about the whole thing. Like movie theater popcorn. Talking about being disappointed in the movie theater. <laughs> ah, that movie is no good. No, sometimes you can have an enjoyable... Uh, uh, experience at the movie theater and with the popcorn. All right, guys. If you're inspired, that's great. If you're optimistic, that, that's great. Please do not let my cynicism rub off. Maybe a deal, uh, a deal, uh, idealism is better in the long run. All right, we'll see you next time tomorrow. Thanks. Bye now.